East Africa was drawn into a wine bin. Tonga was among the last countries in Africa to A 24-year-old male developed several symptoms on 11th September 2022, including high-grade fever, tonic convulsions, blood-stained vomit, diarrhea, loss of appetite, and bleeding in the eyes. He visited two private clinics between 11th and 15th September without improvement. He was then referred to the regional hospital on 15th September, where he was isolated as a suspected case of viral hemorrhagic fever. A blood sample was collected on 17th September and was sent to the Uganda Virus Research Institute where RT-PCR tests conducted came out positive for SUDV. On the same day, the patient passed away, caused a deadly virus named Ebola. This deadly virus outbreak has left thousands of children orphaned. It has been deemed as one of the largest, most severe and complex epidemics in history. The Ebola virus has still date taken many lives and still continues to keep a large part of Africa in a joke hold. It is extremely difficult to battle this virus since no specific cure or medicine treatment is available yet. Even the new treatment methods are in experimental phase and therefore not yet available to everyone. But what exactly is Ebola and what we can do about it? Let's learn more about this fatal virus through this video in 6 minutes on Prepladder Neat PG YouTube channel. Ebola is an infectious viral disease that affects humans and non-human primates such as gorillas and chimpanzees. The virus is transmitted to people from wild animals and then spread in the human population. Following the discovery of the virus, scientists studied thousands of animals, insects and plants in search of the root cause. Despite extensive investigations, its natural source is still unknown. However, fruit bats seem to be the prime suspects. There are six species of Ebola virus, four of which affect humans. They are Zaire virus, which was the strain associated with the largest Ebola outbreak to date. Other strains are Sudan, Typhoid, and Bulibugyo. Ebola virus was first discovered in 1976 when two consecutive outbreaks of fatal hemorrhagic fever occurred in different parts of Central Africa. The first outbreak occurred in the Democratic Republic of Congo in a village near the Ebola River which gave the virus its name. The second outbreak occurred in what is now South Sudan, approximately 500 miles away. Since its discovery in 1976, multiple outbreaks have occurred and the majority of it centered in Africa. The 2014-2016 outbreak in West Africa was the largest and most complex Ebola outbreak since the virus was first discovered. There were 28,616 cases of EVD and 11,310 deaths. Viral and epidemiological data suggests that Ebola virus existed long before these recorded outbreaks occurred. Factors like population growth, encroachment into forested areas, and direct interaction with wildlife may have contributed to the spread of Ebola virus. The virus is transmitted through direct contact with the blood, secretions, or other bodily fluids of an infected person. People can also be infected through contact with objects such as needles or soiled clothing that were contaminated with infected secretions. Traditional burial practices that involve direct contact with the body of the diseased also play a role in transmission. Furthermore, the virus can also be acquired through sexual contact with a convalescent case or a survivor because the virus can be present in the semen for many months after recovery. People remain infectious as long as their blood contains the virus. The incubation period, that is the time interval from infection to onset of symptoms is from 2 to 21 days. Ebola cannot be transmitted until the patient develops symptoms. Symptoms of EVD can be sudden and includes fever, fatigue, muscle pain, headache, and sore throat. This is followed by vomiting, diarrhea, rash, and impaired kidney and liver function. In some cases, patients experience both internal and external bleeding. As for the clinical diagnosis, Identifying EVD in the early stages of infection is difficult as early symptoms are non-specific and similar to those of other infections. However, 
Once later symptoms develop, a clinical diagnosis of Ebola can be made. The US Food and Drug Administration approved the very first vaccine for Ebola named Ervibo on December 19, 2019. This vaccine is given as a single dose and has been found to be safe and protective against Zaire Ebola virus, which has caused the largest and most deadly Ebola outbreaks to date. In May 2020, the European Medicines Agency recommended granting marketing authorization to a second new vaccine, which is delivered in two doses called Zabdino and Wabia for individuals one year and older. Despite the discovery of these vaccines, Ebola remains a plague for the population of Africa as vaccines for all Ebola strains are yet to be developed. Now, if you found this video interesting and informative, then make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and get notified every time we post a new video. See you next time.